Hi everyone, my name is Vivek and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the third episode to create to-do list using JavaScript. In the previous episode, we learned how to sew and hide whole list item when we click on this button. And today, I will show you how to add an individual list item when we click on this button or hit the enter key. First of all, let's create the variables for this input box and add button. So open your text editor, then open your main.js. Then create two variables using this document.query selector. Now let's add click event for this button. So you can make it add btn dot add event listener. You can add click. Inside this click event, we have to create two new variables. One is to select ul and then another one is to create li. We have to create li because every time we click on this add button, we have to add that new li. And then at the end, we have to append that li inside the ul tag. So first, let's create the ul variable. And since this ul is inside this list holder div, what we can do is we can copy this variable and then we can use query selector. Then we can select ul. Then let's create another variable called uh, li. And then here we have to use document.create element since we are creating li each time. Now let's use append child to append li. Once done, you can check your site, refresh them, you can add something and then click on add item. Now what you can notice over here is it is appending li each time whenever you click on this add button. But we need this value as well so what we can do is just before this append child you can use li.innerHTML and then since we are getting value from this input box we can use add input dot value now refresh the site again you can add your text and then click on add item now each time you add any text over here and click on add item that will be added great also if you want to remove this placeholder text whenever you click on this add item you can use this add input dot value equals empty string refresh the site you can add some text over here and then click on this add item and now the placeholder text has been removed nice now let's add this list item whenever we hit the enter key but before that let's organize this code by creating the function i will call the function name add list and then i will cut all this code and add them inside the function and now inside this click event I simply wanna call this function now let's create new event for the enter key so it will be add input dot add event listener and the name of the event will be key up And then I want to add event over here. And I want to add if condition. Now, if you want uh, to recognize your enter key, you have to add event dot which 
equals 13 so whenever you add this condition it will recognize your enter key now since your enter key has been recognized all you have to do is you have to add this function and add them over here now refresh the site add some text and this time instead of clicking this add button you can hit the enter key and it is working great you might notice that we don't have any validation so far so when you click on add item or when you hit the enter key the ally is just keep on adding so let's add some validation now inside this function let's add if else condition so whenever the value of empty box is empty let's alert the error message saying enter the list name please otherwise we can append ally inside ul now let's check the site again and this time when you click on this add item you will get the error message saying enter the list name please or you will get the same error message when you hit the enter key but it works fine when you add something and hit the enter key or click on add item great this is the end of this session in the next session we'll add dynamic buttons like up down and remove feel free to comment below if you have any questions also please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel to get more tutorials in the future thank you